Hello everybody, Ray Burke, Spray Wash Pro and Spray Wash Exterior Cleaning up in Tallahassee, Florida. Hey, we are doing an experiment on Agent Green, uh, doing a cold bleach sample uh, for this experiment. I've actually run this experiment a few different times. This video is going to be a little bit different because I didn't use any time-lapse photography. I've actually filmed the whole thing um, and now I've sped it up so if you wonder why it seems like I'm moving so fast uh, didn't do any time-lapse just sped this up to about uh, 10 to 15 times the regular time because this whole filming actually took two and a half hours um, wanted to get y'all you know just complete information out here now you notice that I poured this bleach sample out of this same container okay so what's in these two clear cups is the same bleach I have chilled it down you can see it's in the low to mid 30s range or mid 30s range uh, now the apple wash that I'm using and for those of you not familiar with Apple Wash, it's a surfactant dye marker cover scent. I'm using it to represent organic growth out of here. And I'm going to pull my sample for both of these uh, cups of bleach from the same cup of Apple Wash. And if you notice, the tops of all the cups are exposed, so... There's no sleight of hand or trickery where we're putting, you know, an additional uh, um, solution in here. We're going to use uh, 30 milligrams of, um, I'm sorry, 30 milliliters of Apple Wash uh, into each of these samples. Well, what I'll be introducing in here, that three was for, for 30 or three of these uh, medicine dispensers. Now, when it comes time for the Agent Green, I'll use the same medicine dispenser to uh, put it into a sample cup as well. But want you know everybody to see me um, pouring this stuff out and introducing it. Don't want there to be any question that uh, there's been any hanky panky with the samples, and that you can see truly the only variable in the sample on the right side will be the Agent Green that I have gone and uh, put into that sample there introduced it whenever I pulled this out uh, I didn't want my my sample tainted by Apple wash because I didn't rinse my thing out so I'm getting rid of that and I'm gonna start over again here uh, with some fresh green wash I'm going to put about 30 milliliters of uh, green wash in the sample as well I'll let y'all be able to watch that watch me measure this out now you know real world this is not the actual measurements or percentages that we're using at all i'm just trying to show that there is a different reaction in the sample where the green wash is introduced um, you know if we are we're killing algae out there in the real world it's real tough to get a a good controlled laboratory uh, type experiments on there because the algae might be thicker in some places we may have some temperature variations uh, just going to be real tough to to get you know a true laboratory controlled the agent green versus no agent green out there so this is the closest way that I can get to a controlled experiment uh, at least with the resources that I have on there uh, I'm gonna keep checking these temperatures too and show you the temperature rise that that we're having um, and it's just because the bleach is now out of the cold and is sitting uh, in, in in my shop at this point uh, so I'm going to introduce the agent green into that and give it a stir up as well now again I did not do stop motion on this um, this is just an absolute complete uh, loop video 
I've sped it up greatly. The original files are actually two and a half hours long. Uh, I've had to compress this down into 15 minutes because YouTube has a 15 minute max uh, that they'll allow for a video on here. One of the reasons that I'm doing the video like this, not doing a time lapse, but actually just a sped up full video so you could see if anything could change there, uh, is that a friend of mine, old friend that I've known for several years, uh, questioned the first video. Really pissed me off his initial line of questioning on there because I thought he was challenging my honesty. Um, you know, I'm a lot of things in this world. I'm flippant, I'm petty, I'm sarcastic, uh, I'm an overachiever, um, I can get arrogant sometimes, but one thing I am not is, is dishonest, and there's quite a few reasons that I won't be dishonest. Uh, first of which is, is it's just not in my moral character. Um, second of which, you know, in this industry, I have met some horribly dishonest people um, and I've seen the, the destruction and the hell and the, the problems uh, they can cause and, and I've seen guys that are just willing to literally look at your face and lie and or go to a group of people and, and tell them complete myths truths while they're communicating you with you in another instant message i won't be a part of that um, i find it to be just just utterly disgusting uh that, that some people will do that so you know just not 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 gonna play the dishonesty game uh another reason is that in my position, you know, I have a, a great cleaning company. Um, we're opening Spray Wash Pro, which will be a new national association. Um, and then also had Spray Wash Academy, which has been opened uh, for just over a year now. And with Spray Wash Academy, I run around and do a lot of national teaching. And I charge a tuition for that. And I think my students uh, deserve honest, good information for that and I will never knowingly um, misguide them or tell them something that I don't think is true. Unlike some people, I don't necessarily have a product to sell. I'm not saying buy my soaps. I'm not saying buy this chemical. All I really have is, is my information and my experience to sell. And I'm doing air quotes around sell, but um, I just don't have... Um, I'm not I'm not peddling anything other than than education out here. And I'm not doing this video to put Chris on blast either. I've known Chris for a lot of years, you know, consider him a mentor and a friend. So, um by no means want to just, you know, sit here and call him out. I'm just doing this long form video so he can see the research on this as well. And let me tell you a little bit about this video while y'all are watching the, the occurrence happen. As I think I mentioned before, this is not a stop motion video. Uh, this has actually been sped up through iMovie on here. If anybody wants to see the raw files, let me know. Uh, I'll have my email um, scrolling around here and y'all can send me an email to it and I'll send you the whole two and a half hours worth of files on there to look at it yourself. Here's another little bit of irony about this is that I don't use Agent Green very often. I have some on the truck. Um, every now and then we'll find an application where we want to use it. But um, I live in Florida. My bleach is, you know, incredibly cheap here. I pay $1.50 uh, per gallon for 12.5% that I have delivered to my office once a week and, and filled up in a 1,000 gallon tank. Uh, so bleach is readily available. It's always fresh and it's cheaper than gasoline here. Uh, if we have, you know, a product that can help some people uh, work in colder temperatures or you know can help save them some money because I know that not everybody has a luxury of Florida out there um, 
some people are paying you know three four five dollars even i've heard per gallon of of sh so this could be a big cost savings you know for them now just like whenever you're using any other surfactant not only does does the surfactant you know stick to the roof uh the surfactant sticks to whatever else it runs off on too so you need to to use extra plant and property protection uh, out here um, whenever you're using this i think chris you know had a had a valid point you know if this is enhancing um the bleaching action the chlorine action on here then you know it, it's going to enhance the possibility of of uh, sticking to the landscape and possibility of that same bleaching action uh, to the plant so you need to use extra care extra caution um, whenever you're working with this and plants uh, get out there go the extra mile put just some Tyvek on there um, stick that over the the plants um, always pre-water always rinse during always post flood um, wet plants are just not as susceptible to damage as dry plants are Another question uh, that I had uh, seemed to be of uh, the length that this is taking. One of the important things to consider that we've taken out of this whole equation um, as the apple wash is destroyed um, is the oxygen element. Um, just having air with our roof cleaning, because bleach is an oxidizer and we spray it on a light coat we're allowing air to react with everything it allows bubbles to pop and kind of do a little scrubbing on their own um, the only area that's that's a, a, of this experiment that that that's getting in contact with air is just the tops of the cups uh, so we're not really introducing oxygen uh, in into this scenario so we're taking away uh, the air element of this so uh, this reaction is taking a lot longer than it would in real life and again i'm not saying use apple wash to to as a roof surfactant if if you take that away from this video you've really not gotten the point of the video itself the apple wash was used just uh, to, to, to simulate a, a biological material because it's an organic dye that's inside of apple wash uh, we've even done some experience like this um, with the temperature of bleach uh, using just regular food dye as well so uh, but I think you can see just from the timing and from what I've showed you here that especially with the cold bleach, the Agent Green has certainly sped up the action uh, of, the, of the bleach that's going on. I know it's not a bleach booster. Agent Green doesn't claim to be a bleach booster. It claims to be a chlorine enhancer. And at least from what I am seeing, I think it's doing exactly that. It is enhancing the action of this chlorine and allowing it to work faster. Hey, this is Ray, Spray Wash Pro, Spray Wash Exterior Cleaning. Feel free to reach out to me if I can answer any questions for you. Uh, again, if you'd like to see the long form videos of this, uh, drop me a line. I will send them to you via a um, uh, mail link through Apple or whatever they call the uh, AirDrop. I think not AirDrop, something through Apple, whatever Apple's way of, of sending you a link is. And um, you can look at the files that way. If you've made it through uh, this 14, 29 seconds, 14 minutes, 29 seconds, hey, good on you. Uh, wash on, guys. Have a great day.